Hello Virgo, welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so Taurus time would be the time, like I said last week, where Virgo could possibly win the lottery. Now we've got this new moon eclipse. I don't always recommend getting lottery tickets, but raffles, you know, for like good causes and there's not that many people buying tickets. Those, those are a lot easier to win. And, um, you know, or cake dance. That's a good one too. Um, so uh, I would say Monday night, Tuesday, be very, very sensitive to breaking limits, to the possibility of you doing way better, helping others, learning new things, traveling, educating yourself, learning more than you have before. This eclipse is going to blow your mind. You're going to get better. You like being an educated person. This is going to get you more education. <clears throat> Taurus time is a lucky sign for you. And it's your best time of year to travel. Very few people travel in Taurus time. Very few people travel late April through mid-May. And um, it's a super cool time, especially if you do go to Northwest France or the, or the British Isles or Ireland. You, you, you tend to get less rain during that period and it's really super sweet with springtime. Um, here in Northern California, it's very nice in the foothills during this time. We've got a lot of relationship issues with this weekend, especially Friday with the moon, Venus, and uh, Neptune there. I mean, your last of the red-hot lovers, Virgo, go out there and love, 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 love a lot. Capricorn in your fifth house, I mean, with Pluto there, transformational love, woo! Yeah, get a second win, even if you're, even if you're an old, old kind of person. You know... You'll amaze yourself at what you'll learn in the magical scale of things. And you've got good friends helping you. It's just like, be patient. Don't be aggressive with your words. Just relax, relax. What really helps me is to make it all in a rhyme. Have a poem. Then it becomes fun and entertaining. 